What does the average youth pastor look like? Not in terms of fashion, but demographics. And how would your youth pastor and other staff at your church stack up against their peers? There are two sections in every church salary report designed to help you understand the larger labor market. First is what does a typical church employee look like? And second, what benefits do they receive? Let's first talk about what the typical church employee looks like, aka the employment profile. Church Salaries Database breaks down the demographics in the Employment Profile section regardless of church size or budget. This section will show you how many, let's say, senior pastors in the entire country are male and how many are female, or what percentage have a bachelor's degree, or have 6 to 10 years of experience. This information can be very helpful for job seekers in finding out if you're a unique candidate or fall in the average range. For churches, this information can be used as you start the hiring process. Let's say you decide that your next children's pastor needs to have a seminary degree. How much of the market would you be excluding? Additionally, this section can help churches also understand where their staff fits into the larger labor market and where they should place employees within a basic salary range. If doctorate degrees are rare among youth pastors, is your church prepared to pay a kind of premium for that kind of employee? Following the employment profile, let's take a look at the benefits section. Now, comparing benefits can be very tricky. If you've ever tried to compare several different health insurance plans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The reality is that in today's labor market, performing an apples-to-apples -apples comparison of benefits is pretty much impossible. Church salary captures a lot of data on benefits and condenses it in this section in a way that is helpful for you. Each benefit is graphed as a percentage. For example, what percentage of youth pastors receive paid vacation days or life insurance? What percentage of custodians receive some form of health insurance from their church? Individuals can use this section to compare benefits with their peers. Maybe you aren't receiving life insurance, but 65% of your peers are. Churches can also use this section to set benchmarks and decide which employees should receive what kind of benefits. Because let's face it, benefits are expensive and offering them to all of your staff equally is a big undertaking. So as you consider improving compensation packages at your church, this section will help you figure out where to draw the line for certain benefits. With all that said, these sections of the employment profile and benefits will help you orient yourself or your church in the labor market. How do your pastors and staff stack up and how do your benefits compare? If you would like to learn more about how to use your report, check out the other how-to videos we offer. And if you are ready to create a custom report, visit our website at churchsalary.com. Thank you for choosing Church Salary. If you haven't already, consider taking our National Church Compensation Survey, especially if your church has a good handle on benefits. With your help, we can help more churches and pastors just like you.